EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us roughly midway between Boston and Providence. Everybody knows it as Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with the Las Vegas Raiders. The final weekend of the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. First and ten, here's Mariota. And he's got the hook up to Ruggs. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. First down, Las Vegas. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game. And he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up. And then the big finish with the tackle. 38-yard line, second and nine. Mariota now. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. In the heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked by the rookie, Kyle Duggar. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position, and to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. They'll run with a former Super Bowl hero. It's James White. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. How about that, partner? That happened in a hurry. Sudden, explosive, gets into the backfield, and spills the play. And he was AFC Defensive Player of the Week last week because of plays just like that. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Newton. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Greg Green! Throwing on third down, Newton. He hits White, complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Now a give to White. 
And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. From the two now, second and goal. They're not ready for this, man. They're not ready for this. They still play soccer. Y'all playing the wrong football. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Demir Bird, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Pats have taken the early lead. So the touchdown there, and that play, the tap pass, so simple, Charles, on the face of it, but what makes it so difficult for defenses to stop? I think it's the precision and the quickness in which the play occurs because the snap gets to the quarterback. He's essentially playing volleyball with it, just immediately just shoveling it forward. And when that receiver's at a full head of steam, if you don't take the edge away, he's got a chance to get to the corner and get upfield. But if you take the edge away, that's your chance to disrupt that play. And no disruption there, that's for sure, as it winds up six points. A good start to the drive here as that's caught out on the left side. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. first down. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. The ball carry. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. It's a gain of nine. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. On second and one, Mariota, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes with a big third down coming up. He's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Townsend to punt it. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is. At the six-yard line. At their own Let's go old school line. there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. The drive starts with a run by White. White's got a first down and more. There he goes, right side. Right. And the way in. Touchdown, New England. James White, 94 yards. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly for six. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was that, last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. you got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? Turnover, you just noted it. Punt's better. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully points. Second and 10 at the 21-yard line. 
From the 21, it's second and 10. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. On third down, Mariota. Got his connection complete to Ruggs. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing is Mariota. He'll let this go deep for... And that's caught inside the 30. You'll get nothing. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Henry Ruggs. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Raiders are back within a score. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. Well, what's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. It usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. The Pats at the line ready to go. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, if they weren't ready to go, on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. Here's a second and two now from the 33. On a handoff, it's White. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. 14 Raiders 7. Now Newton on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. To throw again. Newton. And it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Ten yards to go. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the gun, here's Newton. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one good for 13 and a New England first down. And they'll continue to look for more catches like that from Nikhil Harry. He was New England's first pick in the 2019 draft. Had a disappointing rookie season, though. Only 12 catches for 105 yards and just two touchdowns. With his talent and his potential, this team needs him to step up. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. 
but a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, it's White. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage. And now it's fourth. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsecessfully. Yard attempt. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. These kickers now used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration. Now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they're all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the post. Mariota and the Raiders now come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Off of play action, he'll look to throw. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, Devin McCourty picks it off. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. You're looking there, the defensive back was maybe a step slower than he was when he came into the league a decade ago. I know I question his speed coming into the game, but what he's lost in speed, he's more than made up for it with intellect. And that's a great job of knowing how to position himself to make that interception. Cleveland five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brings up second and five at the 17-yard line. difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. This is White on the screen. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. James White, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Patriots add on to their lead. That'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Patriots 24, Raiders 7. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. So that is three interceptions now in this first half. And you hate to ask the question, but yeah, let's be honest. We're thinking about it. Do you need to go in a different direction next series? Potentially. We know that he's probably not going to be on the Pro Bowl ballot. That's not really his stature here. But he has been their starting quarterback for this game. So they've got to weigh things about who's behind him. Do they think he can snap it back into gear? Maybe change up the play calling to help him out a little bit. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Watch 18. 18 is the break. Get your game up. That's trash. 18. Man, that's trash. That's trash. 
Now a play fake, and it's Newton. Going deep here for Adelman. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. And that one results in 35 yards. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. A shotgun snap for Newton. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Cam Newton with his third touchdown pass of this first half. And the Patriots add six to their lead. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left them reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like their memory was a little too long there. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Give him 30 yards there. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well to get a few stops. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Working out of the gun, Mariota. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And that is caught. It's Ruggs. Touchdown, Vegas. Henry Ruggs. Henry Ruggs with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Raiders make some inroads here on that deficit. It's up and good, and that'll make our score 31 to 14 now. Patriots 31, Raiders 14. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. down as they begin the drive they are clicking on all cylinders they seem to be just scoring at will right now and that's why they've opened up this big lead and now we always talk about getting into the zone and all athletes are seeking that aren't they but everything is working for them every move they make works it clicks and they are on point right now yeah they are in that zone that you're talking about maybe a good spot to take a shot here second and a yard from the 34 Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Yeah. 
A reminder once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Well, officially, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. Let me breathe for a Newton on third down. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. And they show run with three tight ends here on first down. Play action. It's Newton. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Now a first down throw for Newton. Flushed out right. And an incomplete pass. Newton on the That'll keyboard. stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Watch 18. 18's the mic. Are you getting the head? Are you getting the head? Greg Green. Here we go. Green. On second down now. It's White. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That's a gain of Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. On the handoff, this is White. And for the moment, this will be a first down. But we have a marker on the field. Let's see if this stands. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? On the give, it's White. And he's not going to get the first down. He had to get to the 30, but he's a yard or two short. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far as we get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. at the line ready to go they built a good first half lead now they have a chance to add on to it and what i'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on well this is taken in it's complete and he'll be taken down but not before they work it across midfield that's good for 28 yards Back in the first quarter, you said it. They need to avoid the big play, but he just got a big one right there. You can't relax. You know, we talked about in the first quarter, but as the game progresses, still opportunities, and he took advantage of one there. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. 
They will run with White out of the shotgun. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. White, the ball carrier. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. They stay on the ground with White. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Brings up third down and seven. the gun. Newton eluding the pressure right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The second year man, Max Crosby, the one who brought him down. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. At their own 15-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And Charles, they trail by three scores. Look, they're not completely out of this, but it's sort of go time right now. Yeah, and they knew that coming out after halftime, it was going to take a collective effort to get back into this ball game. The defense got the stop for them, so maybe that can get things started. Now the offense has to pick their game up as well. And if they can put a score on the board, hey, they could get back in it in a hurry. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Mariota, reception here by Ruggs. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 11 yards there, first down. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again, he picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him, double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver, plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. A second and ten now. Third quarter action from Foxborough. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Mariota. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 45-yard line. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the 44, Mariota got his man. That's Tyrell Williams. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Tyrell Williams.
Williams. Raiders. His second touchdown on the season. And the Raiders get a score closer. On That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. They start the drive with three. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He was well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Kill, kill, kill. Turn it. Kill, kill, kill. Turn it. 20. Great, great, great. Operating from the gun. Newton. Oh, he got position on it, and he pulls it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 46. From the gun, Newton got a man open. That's Harry. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Patriots. First down. First and 10 at the 27 yard line. On first and 10, Newton. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still. With his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Second and 10 now from the 27. They defer to White out of the shotgun. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 11 yards there, first down. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. That's the end. Back now in Foxborough. We get set for the fourth quarter. Patriots have the lead. They also have the football. So many different weapons available in that Patriot backfield. Here's first and 10. 44, 44, Mike, Mike, 44. Man out, man out, man out, man out. From the red zone now, Newton. He'll find his tight end here, Asi Asi. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Three yards the game there, second down. Second and seven at the 13-yard line. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Operating from the gun. Newton escaping the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of 3, but now it's third down. New England on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and four. Right, 
from the gun. Newton. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. On second down, Jacobs. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. The ball carrier. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. Oh, he tried to pitch it and the ball's loose. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. He's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. And a yard at the 16-yard line. Operating from the gun, Newton, and he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Four touchdown passes now for Cam Newton. And the Pats take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? At their own 25-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull the rabbit out of their hat. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Being chased out left. He's going to take it. It comes, and he lost the football. Mario to head it jarred loose. And it's picked up by the Patriots. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. So the special teams penalty costs some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. Newton to throw. And this will be incomplete. 
physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Running out of the gun with White. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. He's brought down at the 15-yard line. A two-yard pickup makes it third and eight. New England on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and eight. Now Newton. He can run for it, and he will. And a nice job there defensively to contain him and get him to the ground a few yards short of the first down marker. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Catch made at the 25-yard line. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good work. I like it. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Tyrell Williams. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Raiders make some inroads here on that deficit. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man. One play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. A gain of a yard. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They keep it on the ground, right again. And he stopped immediately there. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Brings up third down and nine. to gain is the 33 on third down. From the gun, Newton flush to his right. That's complete to White. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A third down gain of 19. I'm sure at times James White gets frustrated because he might want to carry the ball a little bit more, but when you catch it like that, that's how teams are going to use you. The majority of his snaps may come on passing downs because he can create big plays downfield. Second on the team in catches in 2019, he led his squad in 2018. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Second and one at the Raiders 15-yard line. Four down, four down. 
The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. Today's final score, Patriots. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Pats, it's back-to-back -back victories now after the Week 1 defeat as they move to 2-1. and one. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, for Las Vegas, they too will exit with a 2-1 and one record. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Buffalo Bills. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.